All right, the next, point, the next section, 5.4, is talking about the best fitting line, which we have done several times. Okay, there's a couple uh, terms that you need to be familiar with involving these. The first is uh, when you have a set of points. Okay, what you first need to do is determine, do these points even... Uh, could they be represented as a linear relationship? Okay, so this set of points, does it form generally a straight line? Yeah. The, the best fitting line looks like it's a line that goes up and to the right. Uh, if that's the case, so any line with the positive slope, is said to have a positive correlation. if you have a line that has a negative slope. So again, as you're looking at information, if it approximates a straight line and the slope is negative on that straight line, so any straight line with a negative slope would be a negative correlation. And so if you hear those terms, that's what it's referring to, pretty easy. It just refers to what the slope of the line is. And now, if you have a set of points that are all over the place, okay, so the black points just randomly plotted all over the place, okay, then you'd have no correlation. So here's the three different things that you would be looking at. And once something has a correlation, so if it looks like it can be modeled with a straight line, then what we're going to do is find that best fitting line and we do that using what? Do you guys remember what it's called? Okay, so if you were to plot these, this set of points, so one, two, three, five, or sorry, two, five, three, eight, Four nine, five eleven, and six twelve. So let's say here's your set of points. Okay. Do these approximate a straight line? Yeah, they have a general tendency. They're going up and to the right. Okay. And so when you're looking to find a line of best fit. Uh, your book's going to talk about estimating that line of best fit, but we're not going to estimate it. We're going to actually find it because we have access to the calculators. So you guys recall the steps that are required to finding or using linear regression on this. Step one is to do what? Yep. So under the apps, you're going to go to Data Matrix Editor. So we'll access, oops, under Applications, Data Matrix Editor. Okay, you may have to create a new file. If you create a new file, keep it as data. Scroll down, keep it in the main folder. Under Variable, you need to give it a name. Now, the name that you choose can be gibberish. It just can't replace something that already has uh, a value assigned to it. So you can't type in X or Y here. Okay, but if you do something, even if you just take X, Y, Z, T, call it whatever you want. Whatever is quick. You guys have your keyboard. If you're using the one online, you can just say ALG for algebra or ALG1 or whatever you want. Just give it some name okay, so that it opens up. Now, if you're using the calculators on the computers, it's not going to save anything, so it doesn't matter what you call it. So you're going to either open the new or the current uh, database, or the, the matrix. Okay, if you're using your handheld calculator, just hit current is the easiest thing. And now what are you going to do? Enter the number. So where do you enter the X values? X is okay. X values in column 1. Y values in column 2. 
So let's go ahead and enter all of these. Nice and easy for the x's. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then in the y's, three, five, eight, nine, 11, and 12. Okay. Again, very quick and easy. Enter your coordinates. Then what? Okay, so we don't necessarily need to plot them. I'm going to go back and talk about the plotting one. But if all we need to do is find the line of best fit. Go to F5. Okay, go to F5, the calculate button. And then you're going to choose what for your calculation type. Okay, so you go down to, in this one, linear regression, which is number five. A reminder, see how that differs from number six, LN regression? LN represents a natural log. Okay, we haven't talked about those. We probably won't this year. Okay, so don't get that mixed up. It has a different shape to the graph. So make sure you choose number five, linear regression. What do we assign to our X coordinate? Column one. So enter C1. What do we assign to our y coordinate? C2. Should we store this? Okay, I definitely encourage you to store your regression equation. And I would store it to y1 of x. The reason for that, it just puts it into your uh, y editor allows you to access it even if the screen disappears after it gives you the initial answer. And it also allows you to evaluate your equation using function notation for later on. Right here, um, in y1 of x, into this y1 of x form. Okay. And then it, the use frequency in categories doesn't matter, so just hit enter to save it. And once you hit enter to save, the last step is to interpret the given info. And so for this one, y equals ax plus b. So you can write your equation. y equals your a value is 1.83, if we round it to two decimal places, times x plus our b value is 1.6. And so this equation gives you the line of best fit for that particular data. And now, what if you accidentally hit enter or some other button and it disappears? If you need to refer back to that information, you could go back through this whole step. It should save everything for you and just hit enter again and it'll bring it back up. You could also go to the Y editor and that should be the equation stored in your Y1. You can also access that on the home screen just by typing Y1 of X. Anytime you type Y1 of X and hit enter, it's going to give you the equation that's stored in Y1 of X or in your Y1 function. Okay. So if I had asked you what would you anticipate the value of Y, so if you were to ask find Y when X equals 20, how could you do that with your calculator? You could use function notation, and what can we replace the x with? Oh, okay, so just plug in a 20 here, and so you get 38.17. What else could you have done? Yeah. You would copy it over and use the Okay, so you can copy that whole function right here, and then say you want to evaluate that with x equals 20. Hit enter, and it gives you your answer. Any other ideas? Where else can you evaluate equations? What about in the table? If we go to the table and we start our table at 20, it doesn't even matter what we uh, change it by, go to table, we get our answer when x is 20, our y value is 38.17. Again, it confirms it a number of different ways. Okay. Are there questions about that at all?